What's up everybody, it's the Inhuman one here and today I wanted to feature Metal Gear Survive and show you some gameplay from the beta, go over the participation bonuses that you'll get in the main game, and also just express my personal opinion in the game on how I think it'll fare up in the impressive lineup for 2018. Before I forget, I wanted to mention that there are three bonuses for the game that can be acquired simply by creating a character and logging in. These include a Foxhound emblem, a Metal Gear Rex head accessory, and a bandana head accessory and hopefully it gives us infinite ammo because it is damn hard to come by in the game. So where to begin? I mean to start off the game in and of itself is a very simple concept coated with a Metal Gear wrapper. Metal Gear Survive at its core is a zombie horde game. Although we were only exposed to one game mode in the beta, the full game will have several others. But once you boot up the game it's quite evident that the latest spin-off to the Metal Gear franchise is pretty uninspired. As I ran to the side of the singularity, which serves as the home base that you have to defend while you drill a wormhole, kind of weird, right? The sound effects, look, and feel almost felt ingenuine. Again, the mechanics of the game are very similar to a Fortnite or Seven Days to Die, with a Metal Gear aesthetic crudely pasted on top. But it just wasn't enough to feel believable. Some of the melee mechanics were a bit clunky as well, and given the fact that ammunition is quite scarce, the three to four hit combos that each melee weapon has get old very quickly. Now I did like the fact that you can play with up to three other players and strategize on how best to deal with the Cuban head crystal zombie horde things. I guess it's called Cuban, I don't even know how to pronounce that, but I did like how they had several types of enemies like the bomber and armored soldiers, each with their own weaknesses and moveset, but after discovering the neck gina and the bomber, I almost laughed at how silly this was. I just couldn't believe that they were serious, but like any other good man, I hit the bomber from the back and watched it explode in ecstasy. <sighs> Boy oh boy, I bet Hideo Kojima is laughing his ass off right now as he works on Death Stranding. And to end this video, I wanted to share with you my opinion on how I believe this game is going to fare up in 2018. Now I do believe that with the Metal Gear name backing this franchise, backing this spin-off I should say, I do believe that there will be plenty of streamers out there that are kind of familiar with that zombie horde mechanic and they probably will play it and I'm sure it will be fairly popular, but given the lineup with games such as Monster Hunter World, uh, God of War, Spider-Man, etc. There's just so many great games coming out that I do believe that it'll be, uh, I guess, outmatched, so to speak. Um, outclassed, even, because this is just kind of a joke of a game. I, I do think it would be fun in the event that I had a dry spell and I just want to kind of play something that would just be kind of mindless fun, but I absolutely have no desire to go out and just really play this game and get good at it, so to speak. Um, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I am going to leave you guys with one of my greatest troll sessions ever. It began with this guy just spamming the, I guess, the automatic uh, commands. You know, like, oh my gosh, bastards are inside and rock and roll and whatever else. And oh my gosh, it was hilarious. It went on for 10 minutes, the full round. I only killed like maybe three zombies or whatever the hell you want to call them. The whole time I was just pestering his ass and I ended up getting him killed, which was awesome. So I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and uh, let me know what you guys want to see. I know you can expect some things in the lineup that I wanted to go ahead and head off. Um, you're going to see some Monster Hunter. I'm going to take a different approach on that. A lot of people do the skill-based speed runs. I'll probably ha have a few of those, but I really want to cover off on the lore. That world is just so interesting, so I want to dive right into it. And I know you guys will be there to join me. Aside from that, uh, I'm probably just going to continue playing some indie games, jump back into Warframe, and uh, that's really it. And guys, be sure to check out my other channel as well, my secondary channel by the name of Inhuman Universe. That's a place or a space where I can actually post content w for all my other interests and passions like comic books, heroes, uh, TV shows, anime, uh, cartoons, movies, etc. The list goes on. There's no limitation to what I can do on that channel. My primary passion, my main channel, is the Inhuman Gaming. Uh, so always, you know, come and check this one out. But I would love for you to at least check out and see what y'all like there. I mean, I'm really starting to build that channel up and I am going to start posting much more regularly on that platform as well or in that space so to speak um, so yeah go check it out and especially with the new um, updates that YouTube has implemented I want to make sure that I can still monetize that channel so I do need your support I need 30 more subscribers to reach a thousand and I've well exceeded the uh, the minimum views or watch time of 4,000 hours so just give it a chance check it out let me know what you guys want to see there um, I'm always watching new things or kind of getting into new types of content, so you know, be sure to check it out. Um, and I'm also going to do something or feature a new playlist I, that I call the Looking Glass, and that's kind of a as frequent as possible kind of vlog, you know, where it, it kind of shows my journey of becoming, 
you know, a successful YouTuber as I slowly transition from a primary occupation in corporate America to content creation, which is my ultimate passion, which is what I love most, you know. Um, anywho, I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to comment. Let me know what you guys think about this game. And yeah, show uh, Inhuman Universe a little bit of love. And until next time, it's the Inhuman One signing out.